So, facing on the camera, I introduce an area. Welcome to Würzburg. Let's check this city out. So, we're in the seventh largest city in Bavaria. So let's just walk around and see what Würzburg has. It's the third largest city in northern Bavaria. So far as I know, through my researches. So let's check it out. So now we are technically in northern Bavaria in this place well people don't like to call themselves Bavarian so we are in a region called Franconia and here in Würzburg technically this is more a wine region Germans are known to drink beer but here it's more a wine place well let's just take a walk and then we can talk more about certain things. So let's vlog. Yes, this is the downtown. The downtown area. So so here the wines are known to be made in this kind of bottles. There's a big story about it. I'll explain later. So I don't know which way we go. There's a car. Mm -hmm. So the bottles that I was talking about. The wine, they used to, the bottles are traditionally made like this because bottles used to be made out of leather back then and it used to have a shape like that so they called them the box boil. So they still call them those kind of bottles, box boil. Yep. Oh, poor, a poor pigeon got knocked over by a tram, but I'm not going to film that one. We don't want to film how an animal is dying in a cruel way, but let's see how this old city looks like. It's very different compared to Munich. <clears throat> so the people here won't really like it to be called Bavarians, the northern Bavarians, like I've been saying. And if you're outside of Würzburg, outside this town, you see a lot of wine regions where they grow wine. So it's a place which is worth it to go wine tasting. Uh, even though I haven't done wine tasting here, the last place I was was in Cape Town. So I'll just link the video up. So yeah let's just go with the flow this is the closest city i could get to there are many more cities that are around bavaria it's very practical to get around germany by train these days there's a 49 euro ticket which you can purchase every month or yeah you can you can sign up for some contract in which you pay for like once a month so you can take every public transport as you like.
let's cross the road it's a hot day today in Europe it's so hot it's hotter than in Africa this place is extremely hot it's so hot I mean there's also been like the heat wave but temperatures always go up and down so like I'm saying in Africa it was 10 times comfortable even sometimes in Africa it's much more comfortable than in Europe Europe can be hotter than Africa to be honest yep I haven't done so much research and the next thing about Würzburg it's known for a famous basketball player who has been in the NBA for a long time I think Dallas Texas Dirk Nowitzki yep yeah let's just walk around and let me sh let's check out Würzburg there's a station here yeah, the tram runs Let's go straight. The city looks empty as you see because everyone's in the house because it's extremely hot. It's hot. So you'll find people somewhere at the public swimming pools. Some people are away on holiday somewhere in Italy, Greece, wherever. Here in Bavaria it's holiday season. And yeah, one person left in the comments saying I should not say provinces. Well, it's true. These are federal states of Germany. So Bavaria is a federal state of Germany. Yeah, one of the 16 federal states. So the light is red. Let's check over there. It's the river mine. From here you can take a boat ride. Yeah. Würzburg is no known for its castles. There's one castle up there. We can walk closer later. And since we've been talking about the wine, the vine fields, where they grow the wine, you know, the grape vines. Let's get a little closer. So you can technically, yeah, have a lot type of wines here because this is more in the wine wineries. This place is actually like Lower Franconia, in German, as they say, Untere Franken. And where I'm from, it's in Nuremberg, that's the middle Franconia, middle Franken, it's what they call it. In Munich where we were, that was, I think, Upper Bavaria, Oberbayern. Yeah. Let's keep walking and talking. been getting around Germany actually since 2021 we've been gotten we've been getting other cities Göttingen Neumünster Hamburg yep and which one yeah Munich is one of the new ones let's keep going
think I think this will be a long distance. Just wanted to get a little bit to the wine fields. It's a little cool here. So I just walked on the walkway, found a little cool area. You could just relax your feet when it's too hot and you can just go in the shade. Wow, it's so hot. If I wanted to, I could just, I don't feel like dipping my feet inside though. Inside the mine, the river mine. On the other side, there are people camping. Yeah, let's go back up. And also in this city is known for a very special event. One of the biggest events in Germany, they call it the Africa Festival. So where a lot, it's a, yeah, the whole of Africa will come here to set up their everything, music, name it, what they're selling, but where exactly, where it is exactly, where they do it, I don't really know, but it's very recommending to visit the Africa Festival. I think it comes like around June, May or June or something like that. We're now more in an industrial area now. I think I'll just walk here, show you the vine fields, and then we we check out the castles. Yeah, now they are a little bit. The vine fields are now a little visible now. Yeah, this is what I just wanted to capture on the vlog to all my viewers yeah it's all up there so that's where they grow the vine grapes or the wine grapes you know i think i think the grape is called a vine right for for growing the grapes so far since i'm talking about the vine you know something like that and there are also like wine wine events here around so even around the region there are wine festivals where you can just be drinking only wine i'm not really a wine drinker and there are also a lot of uh, beer festivals. There must be a little history about the Franconian people since it's called Franconia. That they are more descendant people from somewhere from France or something. Something like that because they also have French loan words. Something like that. I have to do a deeper research to talk about it. And Würzburg. Würzburg is also known for university. What exactly, I don't know. Because you see a lot of students around. Well, today it's a very lonely city. It's just because of the heat. Yep. Yeah, I think I'll get a little closer before I end the clip. Let's just go get a little closer and then, yep. Looks like the movie theater is closed, huh? Is it closed, temporarily closed or is it closed permanently? Hmm. I don't think it's closed permanently because yeah there are people I think they are watching movies right now just look closed 
people are inside watching movies so I think movies are running so if the movies end people will come out So now we're getting closer. We just get closer there and then I'll just end the this clip maybe as clip number one. I don't know how many clips I'll make today. Two or three or eventually four. But maybe like yeah two to three is always good. So we'll get there and then we check out the other parts. Well, on hot days like this, what you can also do, some people even swim on the river mine, and there are also like lakes around the regions where most people yeah most most people will go to the lakes families and take a swim it's kind of like going to the beach you know a beach with no waves yeah let's keep walking oh there we go they're pretty high i don't know if i can even get up there quite high so yep since it's kind of like impossible to see them I'll just walk around here and end the clip here so if you like it so far like comment subscribe share your opinion down below and I will end the first clip for here. Let's see how it goes and how many clips it's gonna be. So, peace out.